Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well, I hope you're sitting comfortably, you are cosy and you have your snacks and your beverages at the ready. Get all snuggled up, get your pets alright, if you have pets with you right now make sure you are giving them love from me, otherwise I'll be really upset because that's kind of heartbreaking, why would you do that? Anyway, in today's video we'll be taking a look at the wonderful and crazy side of Tattoo TikTok. This is my absolute favourite series to do, this is your favourite series to watch. And I know I say this in pretty much every one of these, but I just want to say thank you for always tagging me in tattoo related TikToks because without you this series just would not be possible. Because like, I've only just started watching stuff on TikTok again because I don't, I just had a little break from it. I mean, to be honest, I have been far too busy watching Real Housewives <laughs> and uh, playing Planet Zoo. Oh, if you play Planet Zoo, oh my God, I love it. It's so fun. Like the other day I built a lemur enclosure and I just wanted to watch the lemurs and I'm like, what, what is wrong with me? I'm meant to be playing a game here. Like my crocodiles keep freaking overpopulating, but no, 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 I'm not gonna sort that out. I'm just gonna sit here and watch lemurs. But yeah, I haven't been watching much TikTok anyway. And when I do watch TikTok, I don't normally looking at food and dogs and lipstick recommendations and perfume recommendations. So my algorithm isn't favorful for tattoo stuff, surprisingly. So you tagging me in tattoo TikToks is super helpful and I am forever grateful. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on about random crap and we're gonna get on watching the weird and wild side of tattoo TikTok. Come with me to remove the tattoo I got matching with my mum before I found out she was sleeping with my husband. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm done. I'm over it. First of all, there is, I think, copyrighted music used throughout this, so... Uh, but I'm sorry. Oh, that is messed up. Imagine having a matching tattoo with your other half, and then that other half goes and shags your mum. <laughs> I, I don't know how I would cope with that. I, I don't... I, I'd probably go shag their dad. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> no, but really. That's awful. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to just like skip through this. But yeah, it just seems like they are just having a laser removal on this matching tattoo that they had with that. That's basically it. The beginning is all we needed to know. That's it, I'm done. That's the video over. I can't do any more. Come get a throat tattoo with me. Oh, hell yes. Oh, that is gonna be a spicy one. Two out of 10, easy. No, 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 no. It was not, was it really? The shading, see, I prefer shading. I'm honestly starting to think I'm the backwards one because a lot of people will say that the shading is worse than the line work. But for me, line work is pure hell. It is disgusting. It feels like wet fire. It feels like someone has put a knife into a fire and then start scraping at your skin, but they're not like being gentle about it. Oh no, 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 no. They're like digging in with like a vengeance, you know? Let me know. I have definitely asked this question before, but, but there might be new people here. But what is worse for you? Like, let me know. <laughs> Light work or shading? I don't understand. Like to me, shading is so nice. It still hurts, but it just feels a bit more pleasant to me. But I'm honestly starting to think that I'm the, uh, the backwards one here, so yeah. A few weeks ago, I got the cutest tattoo request. My client asked me if I'd be able to take a photo and of her puppy and turn her into a littlest pet shop. The puppy, oh, that's so cute. That's such a good idea. That's adorable. Like 10 out of 10 idea, 10 out of 10 puppy. I love dogs. Oh, that, oh, it's just so cute. What is happening here? What is happening here? Is this person free-handing a fa- We should not be free-handing faces like this. No, what is happening? Oh, this is not good. This is not- Hang on a second. Hang on, I should trust the process. I, I need to trust the process. Is this good or is it not? I can't tell. It's starting to look good. But it was looking so bad. I like it. 
think I like it. It's so hard to tell because it's so fast and there's so much ink everywhere. No, I think this... Is this good or is this bad? Someone help me! I just want to see the final result. Oh. Ooh. Mm. It's like... It's artsy. It's kind of good. It's like kind of bad, but it's kind of good at the same time. I think it's the art style, right? Like the art style, it's like meant to look like that, which makes it a good tattoo. But at first, honey, I was worried. <laughs> I was so worried. Getting tattooed at the senior living community. Stop it, this is adorable. Oh my God. This is so wholesome. This is one of the most wholesome videos I've ever seen in my whole life. This is such a cool idea. I want to do this. Oh my gosh, this is freaking awesome. That's so, oh, I love it. I just love it. Like, this is the kind of tattoo content we need more of, okay? None of these fake face tattoo situations. I'm bored, I'm over that, right? This is um just great, okay? This is the greatest thing I've ever witnessed. I'm just letting y'all know right now, if she's got a nose ring, glasses, and tattoos, fucking run to her. That's what you meant to say at the end of that, right? Run to her, because I'm not hearing any red flags with <laughs> I love this person. <laughs> I hate this whole thing of like, oh, if a woman has a nose piercing and colorful hair and tattoos, red flag, she's toxic, run away from her. It's just like, I mean, if you think I'm a red flag and that means less men are coming and approaching me, oh, thank God for that. Less men around me, the better, honey. <laughs> so I straight up do not tattoo men anymore. Let's talk about it. Okay. When I very first opened my studio, obviously I was a brand new business and I was in no position to turn away anyone. So I definitely tattooed men at the beginning. But very quickly, I realized that was not a safe option for me. So one day, like normal, I had a inquiry from a girl on Instagram. I always like clicked on their Instagram page to make sure it was a real account and everything and it was private, but everything looked super real. And she was just asking about like a tattoo. So anyways, we go back and forth for a couple days. And then one night when we're in the middle of DMing, like talking about pricing and her design and everything, I get a call from her Instagram account. So at first I just ignore it because I think like, oh, it's a mistake. Like she didn't mean to do that. But then it calls again and I ignore it again. I'm like, this is weird. And then it calls again. And so I'm like, okay, like, you know, a lot of tattoo shops in my area, like you have to call to make an appointment, like that's how you communicate. So maybe that's what's going on here. Like I didn't think anything weird of it. So she calls for a third time. And so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this. So I answer it and I like put it on speaker cause my husband's right there next to me. And like this deep man's voice comes over the phone and basically just said some super explicit, nasty things about me and asking for things from me. And then also brought up my sister and her name, which I thought was so weird. I'm like, how do you even know who my sister is? Um, because this was on my business account. So this like super freaked me out, obviously, because when I first opened my shop, it was just me there. Like I didn't have my assistant there, anything. It was just me tattooing by myself, private studio. But I was like, shake it off. It could just be some like, you know, weirdos from high school or whatever like there's no telling like whatever move on so then i kept tattooing men like normal if they made appointments um but again like i was alone with a dude in a private studio by myself and like the requests were starting to get weird like requests for like upper thigh tattoos when they're like covered in traditional tattoos like obviously they go and get other tattoos why are you coming to the girly pink tattoo studio that just does little tiny tattoos to get a thigh tattoo. And so it's just like, when you're tattooing, it's like, honestly, it's intimate. Like you're really close, like you're in each other's space, like, like we're touching. And so it just made me super uncomfortable to be alone with a man like that since I was a private studio. So then I changed my rules to, I would tattoo men, but only if they came in with like their wife or girlfriend, like, together um but then i had issues with that you know more than one man um 
like make an appointment saying he's coming in with his wife and then show up alone. And so then again, I'm stuck in that really like uncomfortable situation, like being alone. And on top of that, like while all this is happening, I'm still having issues with men being creepy in my DMs or pretending to be women. But then I had a couple instances where guys would just show up wanting to for a walk-in appointment when I was appointment only. And again, put in a very uncomfortable situation. From that point on, I was just super uncomfortable and nervous all the time and just decided to make the rule no men, period, point blank. Um, but obviously, like, I did exceptions. Like, if a client, like, if I had a client that I knew and I had tattooed before and she wanted to come in and getting something matching with her husband, or it's a friend that's a guy that I know, like, of course, like, that's fine, especially if they're coming with other people. Um, and now I have an assistant that I'm there with all the time and we have cameras and um, tasers and pepper spray and stuff, so wow. it doesn't worry me as much, but... It felt like every man on Instagram was in the comments of my Instagram reels, like going off, saying like, oh my gosh, this is so sexist. If the roles were reversed, da, 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 like you're going to get sued, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, and so that was super frustrating because obviously I'm not trying to take away from men. I love men. I have a husband. Um, I would love to tattoo men if... I felt safe and comfortable doing it, but honestly, like <laughs> y'all lost that privilege. And on top of that, at that same time, I was really starting to grow and my books were starting to fill up like insanely fast. And I am the only fine line, like girly studio in my city. I think there's like one other girly ish studio in my state. And so like, I wanted to reserve those appointments for women. Like there are an infinite, all of the other tattoo shops cater to men and cater to like the masculine vibe and like it all works out well for men. So I just really wanted to like, why would I give up an appointment for a, the one place a girl can get a tiny fine line tattoo from a girly studio in a safe environment up to a dude that can go, you know, anywhere else to get a tattoo and feel perfectly safe. So anyways, all that to say, I don't tattoo men. 90% of the time, um, I love to save my appointments for women and create a safe space for women, create a safe space for me. And yeah, that's why I'm here on TikTok because Instagram Reels is a wild place. Like you will get wrecked there. And so far TikTok has been so much better. Everyone is so kind and nice in the comments here. Hopefully it lasts, but I just want to keep sharing about like this journey of creating like a woman owned, women only space and just show you guys behind the scenes of what it's like to be a girly tattoo artist. Okay, that's all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. It's so pretty. <laughs> I love their makeup so, so much. I have so many thoughts and opinions and normally I would sometimes like stop someone from talking. I thought, let me just let them say everything because their story is kind of interesting. Well, it's an interesting topic. I wholeheartedly agree with her like so much i feel so passionately about it i always talk about client safety you know watch out for red flags when you go to a tattoo studio look out for inappropriate behavior if you feel uncomfortable then leave but we also need to highlight the fact that there are tattoo artists that are taken advantage of at the hands of their clients it happens for whatever reason some clients just feel like they're entitled to tattoo artists and, and take everything a bit more seriously you know oh they're touching me does that mean i'm allowed to touch them kind of thing a lot of people don't see the lines and the boundaries and it's terrifying especially if you are like this tattoo artist working in a studio on your own and you know, she doesn't look like super tall or like muscly, like with peace and love. Like imagine if like a six foot five big dude comes into her tattoo studio and tries to do whatever. Terrifying, like so scary. And in my opinion, she has every right to say, I don't tattoo men anymore. She has the privilege to do that. And maybe one or two people will say exactly what she said in the fact of, imagine if the roles were reversed. Okay, and when men start behaving themselves then we can have that talk but until then we're not gonna have that talk okay being a woman in like a room with a man that you don't know is sometimes terrifying like if you pick up a weird vibe your head goes to the darkest of places there's a couple of tweets or instagram posts that i've seen recently that i just wish i could 
have tattooed on my chest, okay? And there's something along the lines of men saying, you know, you need us to protect you. And then a woman coming back and saying, yeah, all right, protecting us from what? Other men? Yes? thought so. And another one along those lines with men saying, well, you know, if men were to just fall off the earth, how would you feel? And the response that most women would say is safe. We would be able to do a lot more things, go for a walk at night time without the fear of men. That's what we're scared of, men. <laughs> and men just don't seem to, not all men, obviously. I, I shouldn't, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not going to say it's obviously not all men, but it's like Russian roulette right? Yeah, it's not all bullets, but one of those bullets is gonna kill you <laughs> or hurt you severely and you, you just don't know. And in case you haven't seen this viral video, I feel like this is incredibly important as well. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. What I've heard about bears, they don't always attack you, right? Unless you like fuck with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> Prob depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but... Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say, I would say a man. Before? Oh no. That's, no. Before? No, that's, that's, no. That's the white around that tattoo. Oh, that's gonna be great real quick. <laughs> like the white around that tattoo, that's gonna be so gray, so quick. Basically when this heals, it's just gonna look like a very, very badly done, blown out tattoo. It's just, there's no point. Come here, we need to talk. I've never, never in my life, as a heavily tattooed woman, I've never experienced tattoo shock and it is happening to me in real fucking time. I have one of these tattoos for like over two years and I was like, let's just, let's get it, let's do it. And immediately after receiving them, they're perfect, they're amazing. I was really happy with them, but I Googled laser tattoo removal. Anyone oh, no. else experience this or no. am I just having an identity crisis? Like girl, the damage was already done before we got our knuckles tattooed. It was already done. We already had job stoppers. Oh, okay. Why am I freaking out like this? It's like sent me into a depression spiral. Mm. I thought at first that they were pointing at their neck and the neck was the new tattoo. And I was like, oh no, like that's such a visible placement to have tattooed and then to be like, oh, I want this removed. Like, <gasps> but I think it's their knuckle tattoos. I can't say I've personally ever had this experience. I don't know um, if it's common or anything. Let me know if you've ever been through this. That's so sad and so terrifying especially as it's something that they've wanted and they liked it but i guess their body has gone into some kind of like <gasps> shock kind of thing like a not identity crisis as such but the only way i can relate is when i covered up my tattoos with makeup and i just i hated it it sent me in an anxiety spiral i honestly felt awful for a few days afterwards i just it just made me feel weird so i guess it's that kind of thing like it's just new and not something that you're used to. It sometimes can take a little while to get used to a new tattoo, especially if it's a big tattoo or it's in a very visible placement. Okay, I just went on their page and looked at another TikTok and their knuckles say, good luck. And the font of the luck kind of makes it look a little bit like fuck. Um, without further ado, it's it says good luck, but hold on, I have to switch hands. So we've got good and then little sparkles which, all right, luck, which also kind of looks like something else a little bit. And I think that's maybe what was tripping me up. And I can see that, but I don't know. I think the font looks pretty good. It looks very like traditional old school. Oh no, what is this? Black? I wouldn't go with the black. I mean, the hair is dark, but I'm black dark. My hair's black. And I don't think this is fake. It's fake. I can't be arsed, man. What is the freaking point? I'm so over this. I'm so over this type of content. Like, oh, we put a bit of blusher on it to make it look irritated. 
like at first I thought it might have been like because you can get hairline tattoos that you do a lot of dot work and I thought oh maybe someone's having that on their beard to like fill out their beard or whatever but no it's just a fake ass tattoo situation and like just come up with something else and the thing that's really freaking annoying about this this has 52 million views 52 million views all right the the, the, the old people getting temporary tattoos it didn't have that many views but which one deserves the 52 million views? The old people with the fake tattoos, okay? Because that is just so much better. <sighs> 17 year old How tattoo artist. Oh, oh, I thought this could have gone a whole different way. Their stuff is really good. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. People buying tattoo machines on Amazon. And oh my gosh, their work is incredible. See, this is how we do it, people, okay? If you wanna buy a tattoo machine from Amazon and practice on fake skin like this, perfection, because this person has an incredible amount of skill and I trust them with my heart that they haven't tattooed anyone, hopefully, and that, you know, when they can, they will get a tattoo apprenticeship and they've already practiced so much and they're gonna excel and be one of the best tattoo artists ever that's the way it should be done okay all right don't be tattooing any old tom dick and harry with your amazon tattoo machine this person clearly has a talent for it i know tattooing on fake skin is pretty difficult because you're not really working with skin you're working with this slobbery um rubbery ham looking material <laughs> but seeing this just gives me hope that not all 17 year olds with tattoo machines are the same I, it's a breath of fresh air Ooh. oh i love that placement that is freaking sick yes love that is amazing 10 out of 10 that's a good tattoo good placement as well the design is perfect and really fits that leg it's gorgeous he thought his first tattoo was going to be a breeze oh what a goofy oh no no not on the sofa stop it oh, oh no <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to say anymore. No. Just just no. That's all I want to say. I can't even deal with these people getting tattooed on their sofa. I mean, at least the person's wearing gloves, but like, it's just, that's it. That's about what's good. Like, imagine, you know, you go to a tattoo studio and it's freaking filthy but a big positive is the fact that they wear gloves like no that's just not how it is my roman empire is that ed sheeran has this many tattoos and they're all so bad <laughs> that back is not good i just i don't understand it like some people have said that that's just his like aesthetic and he wants them to look like that but part of me is just like Does he, like really, does he want to look like a colouring book? And me being a tattooed person saying another tattooed person looks like a colouring book hurts my soul because people that don't have tattoos always call people with tattoos colouring books. But he does look like that. That's the colouring book. Okay, this, not a colouring book. All right, we can figure out what I've got on my skin. Ed Sheeran though, I, what is happening? Honestly, I think Ed Sheeran is the number one person I would love to have a conversation with about tattoos. I just want to know. I want to know everything. Like, what? Why? Who? And, like, he's just got so much money. You know? Like, he could get the best of the best tattoo artists. And, like, fly to them easily. You Girls with tattoos anyway. are so trashy. Now, honey, oh, you put no. A sticker on a Bentley? Oh. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Oh, I thought she was serious for about five seconds there i was like oh great we have like this gorgeous person that has no tattoos and they're gonna be like oh i would never ever put a tattoo on me but then they turn around and they reveal this most gorgeous back piece tattoo there and oh thank god oh lordy i, I was about to go off i was about to have one and be like well you know like not all of us can have pretty privilege okay honey like some of us need to have tattoos to look 
better, all right, honey? Without these, I'm very, very, very plain and boring. Okay, like, we need tattoos sometimes. We need tattoos sometimes to make ourselves look a bit more interesting, okay? But she's one of us. She's one of us. She's pretty and tattooed. She won the lottery. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Yeah, magic fingers. What? Wow, 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 I love these sound wow, effects. Wow, <laughs> That's literally what it sounds wow, like. Wow, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Me counting all the time. <laughs> oh, this is the type of content I need. Wait, maybe if I sound like an eager, like. Oh. Oh, honestly, great video. I enjoyed every freaking second of that. And that tattoo is beautiful. I really like the style of that. That's pretty unique, actually, that it's made up of so many different lines. And then the pop of red is a very nice added extra. Proving to society that tattoos can look sophisticated and elegant even when heavily tattooed. Love this. It's a very nice dress. Okay, we're doing booties. Sounded like I said boobies. I didn't. I said booties. Lovely belt. This is a gorgeous outfit. Okay. Oh, we're changing the boots now. We're changing the boots. Oh, okay. Okay. This dress is freaking gorgeous. So beautiful. This is a great outfit. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's giving mob wife. <laughs> this is beautiful. I want to wear this dress. The thing is, this kind of colour does not look good on me. That kind of colour washes me out so badly, but they look so beautiful and it's so true. You can dress tattoos up. Whoever said tattoos are not classy can get in the bin, okay? You can dress elegantly with them. There's nothing stopping you. I mean, I'm in my whore era right now, all right, honey? We're wearing the latex. Well, fake latex. I ain't wearing real latex. Oh my lord, I know what it takes to get in real later because I ain't doing that. When you finish tattooing Rogue from X-Men. Ooh, that is really good. That is a good, oh, that's, that's nice. That is very, very nice. But imagine wanting to fuck the tattoo that you just did. <laughs> that's a bit weird. <laughs> but I understand a little bit. <laughs> okay, my darlings, I'm going to react to one more for this video. This is a video for my mother because she asked me why I keep doing tattoos. Mother, <laughs> mother, what do you mean? Look at me in the basic ass school of stupid black bikers and oversized shirt. Oh, I'll fuck you cool. Every bitch on the planet, you better fucking hide. Look at this. Oh, what? Cool. I'm sorry, I wish I had that much energy. I wish I had that much pizzazz. Just, <laughs> just Google it. No, don't worry about it. It's just a random smudge. <laughs> That's what I'm calling all black work tattoos now. Just a random smudge. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel like we have probably all been there at some point where we're just like, look, I am tattooed because I look cool as fuck. Okay, stop with your questions and your interrogations. All right, I, I just look cool. Anyway, my darlings, that is it for today's video. I just want to say thank you so, so much for being here and hanging with me today. I appreciate you so, so much. And until my next video, I hope you stay safe and well. And until then, bye.